What's up guys, it's Down on the Game here. And apparently trade routes can be now built uh, trade units can be built. Did you know that? I mean apparently apparently it doesn't think we know that. I think I'm currently building uh yeah here we are. Yeah, so I'm building a trade convoy in Thabo to deal with that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I got sidetracked from the intro. If you haven't figured it out already, uh, welcome to Civilization Beyond Earth. I sense a great dissonance in you. Why must you fight against this world? Because uh, it keeps killing me, so maybe that's why. Oh, hello. Kraken. Nice weather we're having today. Now here's the problem with the Kraken. I can't actually attack it with my boat because I have a range of two and the Kraken can move two spaces. So basically I can't do anything to him. So let's see, range attack. Yeah, so I can't, can't do anything there. I can't remember what I was trying to do with this guy. I think I was looking for a sea dragon. Definitely not looking for a kraken. Let's see. I could go here to play it safe. Right. Ah, oh, that's right. I think we saw a sea dragon somewhere around here, didn't we? I swear I saw one somewhere around there. Ah, yes, that's right, um, we, uh, we, we were getting, um, defectors, I think, so that's why we have a disciple unit now. So he's a melee unit, 20% when front, yeah, okay, so, that's our, uh, upgraded soldier that we did, uh, from the Supremacy. So this guy can go into water, but then... Uh, so what should we do with this guy? Um, there is that worm down there, so I'll see what he can do. Explorer. Uh, I think the best thing we can do with an explorer is keep an eye out for any uh, ruins or like uh, skeletons. So let's see, do we have anything around here? Yeah, we still have that place, but it's kind of difficult to get there. I think the easiest way to get there is sort of like come out, coming across here. But then you got all that water to deal with, so... Armor. Oh yeah, that's um... He's like a pretty heavy hitter, but he has no like um, defense bonuses. So I guess he's sort of like uh, your tank from like uh, the older Civ games. He's also got three mobility, so that seems okay. Yep, so there are roads. They've still got that. So roads are good because they let your soul they let your units move more spaces, basically. Okay, so we got a trade convoy happening. I can't remember what I was going to do with it. Was I going to go in between one of our own cities or something else? Um, is there a way to see what my trade's currently doing? Uh, let's see. All right, let's go establish trade route. Mm. Yep, so these, where it's got the red, I think that means that they can't travel through there. Yeah, because I can't get to Janali because Janali has the miasma in the road. 
Yeah, so that makes sense. Before, when we couldn't do the thing, the miasma was cutting us off. So, probably try and get rid of that at some point. Well, we've been trading with uh, those guys, so I guess we could try trading with them some more. Let's see, what gives us the better deal? Let's see, this gives us food, but we're pretty good for health. Uh, I'm not really sure how you know how much production you got. So let's see. Energy is pretty okay, I think. Let's see, so we got plus. This gives us a bit of science, so that might be an option. Plus four science. What's this place? It's a station. How far away is that? Oh, it's right there, okay. Let's give that a go. I don't think we've ever, I don't think we've really traded with stations. I mean, we tried that one time, but it didn't really work. So let's do that. Okay, maybe the guy will stop telling us to make trade units, but he probably won't. Okay, let's see. It recommends to build a cruiser. It also recommends building a repair facility. Let's go with the facility. We're not really at war at the moment, so... Quest decision, okay. Spymaster and Commander. Our new command center is ready to begin operations. We need only decide who shall run it. There are two candidates. One is an expert in siege warfare, and the other is a former spymaster within our intelligence community. Both candidates have impeccable credentials and come highly recommended. So let's see. Plus 15 strength from command centers or plus one covert agent from command centers. I was wondering how you got more uh, agents. So I guess we could do that maybe. So having better city strength well, if you have a command center, the city has better strength. Whereas this one gives you extra covert units. Hmm. I guess we could use more covert guys. A veteran spy is an inspired choice. The best way to protect our city is to always be prepared. And a spy master will always be one step ahead of our enemies. So that means we should probably have... Because I think we have a command center somewhere in one of our cities. So that means we should probably have new guys at some stage. Yeah, here we are. So what do we want him to do? Well... I think we should look for a city that we're currently not doing anything in. So let's see, out of all these cities, it seems the Sadadela, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's not how it's pronounced, but anyway, that's got a high intrigue level. So I think let's go with that. Yep, okay, that's all we got to do. Let's just move on. Uh, so what does Mechatronics do again? Oh, that's right, we get the floatstone stuff. My counterintelligence operatives have killed one of your agents. Maybe... Yeah, so that, that's probably not. That's probably the guy that used to be there, I'm thinking. Because my other guy hasn't even left yet. He, So I'm pretty sure that was. Yeah, okay. That also might be a reason why I have another agent. Uh, let's just say I'm sorry. Although, 
I mean, I don't know. If you lie to them and then they catch you, is that worse than just than just not lying and saying oh, I'm just going to keep spying? Because I can't I can't help but think telling them that you're going to spy on them isn't exactly a good idea. Yeah, man, the cruiser is doing a lot more damage now. Look at that. We can we can take out almost half their health in like one go. My only hope now is that there's not more sea dragons around, because then it might not go well. I think I'll take my armor this direction, because I think there's some aliens over here, if I remember correctly. And I have my trade route that goes um, to this place, so I want to make sure that's all safe. Explorer. I think I'll have him sort of just head that direction as well. And I'll get my cruiser to try and go help out the other cruiser. The sea dragon probably won't attack us because it's because it would die if it does. So I assume it will probably head off. There's probably more than one there. I know the Kraken's nearby, but it's not its not within range because otherwise you'd be able to see it. Yep, so the Sea Dragon has gone away. Excuse me, I have important information for you. Okay. So we've got some idle guys, which would be the guy that just arrived there. Uh, I think to start off with, we should probably... I think what I'll do is I'll go start off with the first one and then slowly work my way through till I get up to there. Otherwise he'll probably like die straight away or something. I feel like that will probably happen. Okay, so let's very carefully move forwards. Boom boom, that's for killing all my guys. I mean you probably it's usually the Krakens that are killing me, but you know. Gotta take it out on somebody. Uh, is that Miasma? Yes it is. I guess I'll have him go into the water because when we get to the green we have to go into water anyway. So I may as well do it now. My explorer. suppose I could put him into the water as well. We'll get our cruiser moving along. Yeah, so I think the upgrade cruiser from like the original gunboats. As Adam Smith said, trade is the lifeblood of nations. I'm sure it is. They're like, um, because I think my cruiser is like double the damage that the gunboat was. So if the next upgraded version of the gunboat is even better, like double again, that'd be like really good. Titanium. Uh, I wish I could sort of check to see see I don't understand before when I hovered over here it would tell me how much stuff I had but now it doesn't but I think we had this deal before anyway so I guess we may as well renew it because I don't think I'm actually using the titanium for anything like I've got I've got four so that means I would actually have seven but I don't really think I'm using the titanium at the moment, so I'll leave it be. Uh, so there's the thing that we want to sort of... So let's sort of... Um, I don't know, I guess we'll just sort of look around here. Oh, hello Kraken. Let's go this way. Alright. Um, let's see. We could put the armor into the water, or we could try and... Yeah, it's probably the quickest way. So what's that? That's not an alien, that's the green guy. Okay. 
I'm definitely thinking that a war with the Greens is going to happen at some point. Luckily, I think the uh, these guys, which I'm just calling them Americans because that's what they seem to be. Quest updated. Interesting. We'll have a look at that when we get to it. Okay. I can actually do a reasonable amount of damage to it now. The only problem is I'm pretty sure that he'll probably still kill me, like, straight away. So, I can only really attack him if I have my other cruiser with me. Well, even then, I think I probably need, like... Yeah, it looks like I'll need, like, three cruisers to be able to take that out. It's not really worth it at the moment. So, let's back away. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, I think we'll leave him there, because if we move forwards and there's like a crack in there, there'll be no way to retreat. So we don't really want that. Okay, so now we've got another cruiser, that's good. That means we have three, so I should actually be able to take out that Kraken once they all uh, converge. Your explorer has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort uh, of wreckage, or perhaps alien yeah. in nature. You should Typical. order your explorer to... Yeah, okay, shut up. I can't order my explorer to do it because it's inside the green place. I'm feeling tempted to just go to war with these green guys. I feel like they're sort of holding me back a little. With their closed borders making me have to play, go into the ocean. We won't do it just yet because we don't have a lot of military. So we just finished making a cruiser. Let's make another cruiser. We finished doing a repair facility. What's cloning plant do? Increases production, also gives us food, and grow a specialist slot. Yep, yeah, sure. So what's this quest updated? Ah, here we go, we got a new thing. Kill 10 alien units. That shouldn't be too hard. I think we've already done at least that many before. And there's that one which we still can't do because we, uh, we need more xenomass. So, yeah. So, what's this? I'm not sure why that one is there. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, maybe... Oh, I think that means uh, the amount of new quests. Because this one has like a little shiny... I guess what looks like a sun. I think that represents that it's a new quest. It's, what I, it's the only thing I can think of. Open borders? Sure. We're friendly. As you will. She spoke English. What treachery is this? Okay, so we'll have him come towards and I'll have this guy sort of make his way this direction. What's that? We got a new agent, apparently. And a guy was detected. And the guy established a network. And apparently there is a couple of new quests by the look of things. Oh wait, no, that's uh, the covert. Uh, unit selection feels a lot more smoother than in previous sieves. Like, a lot of time, I'd go to... I keep thinking that's like an alien. But it's just uh, the green guys. Yeah, like, uh, the unit selection in previous Civ games could be a bit clunky. Like, you sometimes click, uh, like you'd select the wrong guy if there was, like, a couple of them near each other. 
All right, so we made repair facility. Let's see, this gives us some health and science. And if we have a marsh, it will give us extra food. I don't know if we have a marsh. It doesn't look like it. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure we don't have a marsh. But we'll get extra science and health. Time for a quest decision. Here we go. Engineering the future. With this new automated repair facility, many of our technicians will find themselves lacking for work. We should make use of this suddenly unavailable manpower. Our military forces can always use a few more technicians on the assembly line. Then again, our orbital network is in need of optimization. Whichever we choose, we should inform the technicians immediately so they know where to report in the morning. So, orbital coverage, if you have a repair facility, increases the orbital, um, the orbital coverage by one. And this increases the production of military units if we have a repair facility in the city. I think we want to try and make our military a little bit better. This world is dangerous. Yep. It is only through our military might that our people's future is secured. We shall have the technicians report to the assembly line tomorrow morning and ensure they are well compensated for their efforts. Okay, so... Agent recruited. Yep, so we already checked that stuff, and that's that thing. So we got a couple of idle guys. Uh, so what did this guy try and do? Steal like technology, I think. So let's see, he's got the established thing. So we've got steel science, and we got siphon energy. Uh, let's just go with that. Actually, let me check. Whoop. Okay, whatever. So, this guy only has a couple things he can do, it would seem. I thought this was like around level 3 or 4 for the intrigue. Uh, I guess I'll have him do that, work his way up to something more difficult. Okay, that seems to be it for that turn. So, as you might have been noticing, I've um, been doing a fair bit of Mario Kart lately. Um, I plan to upload a video each day. I've, I've been getting pretty good at it. Um, I've noticed that I've been able to actually use like pretty much like full speed characters, like have it pretty much as max, like had the stats like pretty much maxed out on speed, and I've actually managed to actually drive pretty well. So I don't know. I don't know if they've like changed anything, or maybe I've just gotten more used to it. But I've noticed that I've been able to drive a lot better with heavier, faster characters. Right, so this guy, trying to get him to work his way back. Can I attack him? Yes I can. Let's do it. Suck at Siege Worm, you can't hit me. I've got my other guys on their way, so they can hopefully do something. Actually, oh wait, no, these guys can't cross water. Yeah, so my bugs can't really do anything there. I think I, I think my missile rover got destroyed or something. I can't remember. Or oh, wait, no, I think I had him in the city somewhere, didn't I? Nah, I think I think he died. Okay, choose production, command center. So what's this? Increases the orbital coverage. We don't... Well, actually, we can build orbital units now. And, uh... We'll do that some stage, maybe, when we actually, like, get into a war. We might try doing that. Get 
keep an eye over here. So Seed Worm has gone off down that way. Machines can be journeymen to machine apprentices, as long as we are still the masters. Okay, so we got Mechatronics. Gives us uh, the Lev Plant, which we can't really do, because I think our... I'm pretty sure our purity is only like two or three or something. Uh, we can do that one, so that gives us extra health. And Crawler, which I think is... What is it? Is that a building? I think it I think it's a building of some kind it would seem. So there's our siege worm guy. We'll keep attacking him. Go remember that he uh, the quest is to kill ten alien units, so we'll see we'll try and do that. I think I'll leave him there. There could be something just in amongst that. I mean, there's probably not, but bear safe than sorry. So now we've got some new research. Uh, it recommends doing defense grid. So it looks like we don't actually have to do these in order. Hmm. Before I thought you had to actually do them in order. Like I thought you had to do engineering, then power systems, and then defense grid. But apparently you can do them in any order. Like obviously you have to do the big one first, but then you can do the other two whenever you want. So what does defense grid do? Gives us better defense. I guess that's a bit obvious. Plus five range for anti-orbital strike. All military units receive plus one sight. That's useful. That will help me against the the um the kraken being able to actually see them further. I won't. I also won't have to be like as cautious with moving my units. So that sounds like a good thing to go with. And with that, we're out of time for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you thought of the episode with a like or a comment. Uh, if you want to see more episodes, uh, you can check out my channel. Or if you want to see future episodes, hit that subscribe button. You can also check me out on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. But until next time, I'm the Down on the Gamer, and I'll see you then.